Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Oh my gosh, so today we're gonna to be doing some more of your piercing horror stories. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. So thank you to everyone who has submitted their own piercing horror stories. As always, if you have submitted your own story or you do have a story you would like to share, please comment down below in this video and you're more than welcome to repost your old stories that I may not have done. Um, and hopefully in the next one, I might be able to get to your one. But of course I do get quite a lot, so I can only get through so many, but don't give up. Please keep posting your stories down below. I love reading out your horror stories. Stories. This is one of my favorite actually kind of like in this series of piercing reaction stuff I do so please comment down below hit the like button subscribe notification bell all that stuff And let's get on to your horror story warriors my piercing nightmare about a year ago I had my date pierced it was my favorite piercing But because I'm in nursing school some instructors are more strict than others So I got away with it for about six months finally one instructor told me I had to take it out because it was unprofessional Don't even get me started on that topic literally guys. Oh my god I'm like I completely understand the frustration when it comes to being having piercings being unprofessional literally like this does not determine how I work or what you know it doesn't you know it doesn't change anything I still act the like it's just I just I can't I can't it's such an outdated idea needless to say after my first 12 hour shift I was unable to put the jewelry back in two months later after I finished that rotation I decided to get it re-pierced my usual piercer was out of town so my cousin recommended we go to see her piercer everything seemed fine until she pierced it and the needle slipped out of her hand and out of the what wait what the needle slipped out of her hand and out of the hole she just pierced. What's it went right through? And then she just dropped. How do you make that mistake? She then dipped the jewelry in a tub of Vaseline and tried shoving it in the hole. I had 15 piercings, including nipples, but I've never been in so much pain. I thought I was gonna pass out. I ended up leaving the shop without my date pierced because I could no longer stand the pain. I also didn't know what happened to, until afterwards. <sighs> That's absolutely horrendous that she did that. And also the fact that like, they dipped it in Vaseline and shove it through. Like, I just, that, what, like what? Like, this is why I'm always wary about going to any other piercer than my own one, because I'm always like, my piercer Veronica Blades has always done a, an amazing job in all of my piercings. And she's pierced me about maybe 11 times at this point. And it's like, I, I just couldn't trust anyone else. Like I just couldn't trust anyone else. And this is the kind of stuff that I get worried about, trying to trust someone else doing it. No, I don't know. It's just, oh. I just don't get how, how you would, the needle would slip out your hand. You should be wearing gloves anyway. And like the gloves are like that rubber stuff and like the metal doesn't slip on it. That's the way you wear them. Like when you're trying to screw in balls and stuff, it's easier to screw it on and like get a grip on things. Like I don't get how that would slip out of your hands. Stupidity. I got my nostril pierced and just my luck, I got the flu two days after. No, oh, my, oh my gosh. Because of all the mucus and pressure from blowing my nose, I got a horrible infection. No, no swell, no, no swell. Do you mean like my nose? I mean, my nose swelled. It hurt more to get the piercing out by my piercer than to get it in when it was done, it came and oozed. No, like, yeah. So even after having nose piercings that have healed, having a cold, a flu, anything that has like a runny nose, like and it sort of messes with your sinuses is an absolute nightmare. And that's after they've healed. If your nose is still healing, like that's the most horrendous combination to have. If I get a no runny nose, like sometimes like the mucus because like, we're like, the snot or whatever, this nose is disgusting. We're like, sort of like, sort of build up on the end of this and it feels horrible. So in grade eight or nine, my friend decided to pierce her own smile, for God's sake, pierce her own. We were just in the bathroom. Yes, we were using a sewing needle. Sorry, Roly, not forgiven. <laughs> She did it, it didn't look great, but she was happy with it. The next day we were playing dodgeball in gym class and the teacher's assistant, grade 12 boys, were playing on the opposite team from us. One of the guys whipped a dodgeball at her and nailed it in right in the mouth with it. It ripped the piercing out of her mouth and she had to leave because it was bleeding way too much. We were dumb, I thought I'd share. Oh my God. You already know, if you watched me for a while, the, my feeling towards smiley piercings, I don't really like them. They're really like problematic anyway. They damage your teeth, they like, damage your gums. It's just not a piercing that you should get if you want to keep a nice healthy load of thing here. A load of thing there. That's my fabulous biology lesson. The mo load of thing here. This is why people who've got piercings don't do sports. <laughs> keep away from them, keep away from them. Like, the only th I say about how, you know, professionalism, whatever, the only thing you can't really do with got loads of piercings is play sort of like ball sports, really, because if you get smacked in the face or your ear, it hurts, girl. Dodgy, wodgy, the ballie, wallie, ah. Looks like you're not very good at that game. My belly and nose piercing horror story. Oh, we get two for one, girl. <laughs> so when I got the piercing done, I was visiting family in a different state when my parents asked me if I wanted to get a piercings. I was 12. You got your belly button pierced when you were 12. 
That doesn't really sit right with me, to be honest. I got my nose and belly done at the same time in a really sketchy place next to the beach. Both piercings were always getting caught and always sore. A couple years later, I still had it and it never really healed, but I was in the shower with my then boyfriend. He ripped my belly pit. Oh, he ripped my belly piercing almost completely out with the shower puff thing. Oh my God, oh my God. Loofers strike again. Guys, if you've got like nipple piercings, belly piercings, anything that's like on your sort of like body, do not have those loofer things and make it go anywhere near it. Wash around it and then get soap on your fingers and then wash your piercing like with your fingers. Like do not use those loofer things near your piercing. Trust me, if you catch that on your belly button or your nipple piercing and you rip it, it literally feels like your soul has left the body. Like it's just not... Okay. So the bottom plate was still attached and I still tried to push it back through. Oh my God, oh. that probably reject there as well. Like, cause you've given it so much straight, like strain and stress. Like it probably would reject anyway. I was laying on his bathroom floor about to pass out. Just, just, just don't girls, just don't. I post this last time so hopefully you'll see it. I'm seeing it girl. So when I was a teenager, I had a very interesting friend. She had done all of her piercings herself and was very reckless. <laughs> Triggered. You may see, you may see, you may see where this is going, but I guarantee you'll be horrified. I go over one day and she's telling me how she wants a cartilage piercing. Me being super young and naive teen encouraged her to get one. I figured we were going to go out and get her cartilage pierced. Nope. She tells me she'll be right back and I think nothing of it. However, she comes back with just a basic dull earring and a wet rag. Without a word, she sits on the floor in front of the sofa facing me, puts the rag in her mouth and starts to shove the earring through her ear. Oh that, no, no. She gagged herself. <laughs> Gag ew, wag ew. she gagged herself. No, <laughs> gagged by my piercing. My piercing gagged me. I'm trying, how can I put gagged in the title now? Gagged on my piercings, I don't know. <laughs> the, the video thumbnail with the, with the text here, I was gagging. <laughs> The girl is screaming and howling as she sits there for I don't even know how long, trying to shove the earring through her cartilage. So like, she's not even like, this is the thing, she's not even like using a needle, she's just trying to shove a blunt earring through her, oh my gosh. Do you know, I'd actually prefer it at this point if this person was using a piercing gun because at least that has enough force to kind of like shove it through. Like this is basically what she's doing. She's piercing the ear the same way like a piercing gun was, but like she's trying to like force it through with her finger, no. It may have been about 15 minutes and the whole time I was watching her with wide hor eyed horror, not sure what to do. She finally gets it through. I don't know if she still has it. I doubt it, but it was a very horrifying experience and I still have no idea how I, res how I would respond if I had to go back, to be honest. I just couldn't imagine sitting there gagging yourself, trying to shove like a, a blunt object through your cartilage. That must hurt so much. There is no way in hell that if she, like if that was in her ear for a while, there is no way in hell that she would have been able to keep that. That would have like got in seriously infected. Her ear probably had bumps and like you could have got a keloid from it or like really bad hypertrophic scarring. There is no way in hell that she would have been able to keep that, especially because she was forcing it through her with her own finger. Like no, 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 no. Trot along, bitch. I have a keloid from an industrial piercing I got when I was in high school and they made me take it out for gym class before it was healed. This was when I was 16. I'm now 35. I look like I have a tiny kidney on the back of my ear and now I'm stuck with it unless I get it cut off and even the chances are it will grow back. It sucks because I love that piercing. Yes, I think with keloids and stuff, like if your body is prone to get actual keloids, like once you get rid of them, like, they can come back really, really easily. My horror story is that I worked at Claire's. Horror story over, that's just the, the story itself. My horror story is I worked at Claire's and had to pierce small children. A baby projectile vomited all, all over the carpet. I did a cartilage once and it wasn't good at all. Babies were the easiest to pierce, but it felt, I felt bad about it. Mothers persuading their children into getting their ears pierced. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Lots of crying. Yeah, I quit within two months. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it sooner without an, another job lined up. I've spoken about this several times on my channel. Do not pierce pierce your baby's ears. And I know I, I always get some people going, oh, it doesn't matter, it's happening in their mother, it's a choice, some cultures do it. I don't care, like I don't care what, what, where you're from, where you're doing, like piercing baby's ears, you're, you're piercing someone who without their consent. When you get baby's ears pierced, like they're so tiny that when, when the baby like grows and gets older, their ears shape changes and everything. Like it ends up being like off center because they get it done center when they're a baby. But obviously your ear shape changes as you get older, so like they're off center and wonky. So after the time you have to take them out and get them redone anyway. Um, it's just, it's just, you wouldn't tattoo your baby, don't pierce your baby. You leave marks, just leaving a permanent mark on a baby. Would you pierce your dog's ear? Would you pierce your cat's ear? No, they can't consent, neither can a baby. You're basically doing the same thing. Don't do it. Especially because every single time you see a baby who's getting their ears pierced, it's always with the piercing gun. Like, because no tattoo studio would actually do that. And you wouldn't go to a piercing studio. I mean, at least uh, here you wouldn't be, I've never known anyone's ever to do it, but like no piercing studio would pierce a baby. Like that's a new place where you go to like Claire's and get it done. Like that's just horrendous. So much pain. I recently moved from London to 
Chinkster? Chester? 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 Chinkster? Well, I have no idea it's about where you've moved from, darling. The first thing I did when I got down here was one thing my mum told me not to do, get an industrial piercing. She was fine with piercings, but for some reason she threatened to disown me if I came back with an industrial or a septum. Okay, random. Random choice of piercings, but sure. Well, joke's on her, because I got three industrial- You- I got three industrials at- You got three industrial piercings at the same time on the same ear. Give me strength, Lord, please. Karma got me though, and whilst they came down for reading week, my one-year-old brother shut my head in a door and caught the back three piercings in the, oh no, caught the back three piercings. And in panic, I pulled away and ripped the door across the front three. Oh my God, some slight bumps, but they're going away slowly and surely. Worst part is it, I still have three week old data piercing and trying to heal it when I got these done. <sighs> so not only have we got six fresh piercings, industrial piercings, which are incredibly hard to heal, just one on its own. You've got three. And now you tell me you have a date piercing in the same ear trying to heal. You shouldn't get piercings that close together. Like three weeks is not long enough to go get another piercing. Like you should just wait until one's healed. I'm just surprised that there was a piercing studio that did three industrials on you at the same time because that's, you got so much chance of your ear like swelling up really badly and like the migration of it. And I'm surprised that you have enough rim to do three. Well, I guess what you've got to get now is a septum piercing. Your mum would be happy. When I was 12 and stupid, I decided I was gonna get my lip pierced with a safety pin, oh for God's sake. It went as well as you expected. I couldn't even get the pin all the way through and I ended up freaking out and my mum had to get it out for me. <laughs> Imagine this like how old this 12 year old doing that and then going up to their mum going mum help and your mum looking at you and you've got this like needle hanging out your lip she must have like freaked the hell like oh my god what's happening if I had quick kids and one came up to me with a needle hanging out their lip going help me I would go absolutely insane like what the hell it ended up getting affected because of course it did and i had a giant gross sore right on my face this is right before school pictures oh <gasps> no this is right before school picture day is if you look at middle class school yearbook from that year you can see stupid 12 year old me looking absolutely miserable with a giant infection on my face because my mum wouldn't pay the extra fees to have it photoshopped out <laughs> oh my god that was probably my favorite story I've had for a long time. Why would you, why would, the thing is like, I, I get it if you're like 12 and stuff, but like, why would you do that even though you had a school pitch day the next day? Because you, even like just piercing your lip and it going okay, like your lip would still swell up and look gross. Like no piercing looks fabulous the next day after getting it done. It looks gross, looks swollen, red and sore. And like sometimes it's got a crust on it because it oozes throughout the day. Like I can't, I just couldn't, like why would, I, I don't know. I guess you're 12, cut you some slack. You obviously didn't know this kind of stuff, but. <sighs> Although, what kind of school did you go to where they were happy to Photoshop your photos? They, they, there was no, 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 that was not a thing when I was in school. If I remember rightly, I think it was my year nine photo. I looked like this because he took the photo at a really weird time. And I was like half smiling and talking, it was, it was horrendous. Um, and like for some weird reason they were like, we're not doing it again. So I work in a carpentry shop. Well, this story is gonna be fabulous. All I can picture in my head before we even get started is you getting a sander and hurting yourself with a sander or your ear getting caught in like a machine that rips. <sighs> brace myself. So I work in a carpentry shop and being the brilliant person that I am, we love a modest queen, I left my earring in my lobe. Now it was a small stud, but regardless, I should have taken it out before working. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I had to sand a chair I was making. And since I was going to do a lot of sanding, I decided to wear a mask. But when I put on the rubber part that goes round your head, it got caught on the earring and sliced downwards. What the heck, what do you mean it's slight? A little later that night, I noticed the earlobe was extremely swollen and red and painful. So me being courageous, oh, you're, you are full of, I'm brilliant, I'm courageous. You're also stupid for leaving it in. So me being courageous, I decided to give my earlobe a squeeze and what happened? A stream of pus and blood started running everywhere. It was so gross. Then fast forward to the next day, I went to my doctor's, my doctor's office and she ripped the earring out of my ear and it hurt worse than when I got it pierced. The point of the story is always remove your earrings if you're working in construction. Yes, yes, yes. Now, although at the start of the video, I did talk about piercings and being obviously professional looking and all that stuff. There are obviously some jobs where I agree that you probably should take them out. Like if you're a police officer, I don't know if it's a good idea to have lots of piercings because you don't really want to give like a, a person trying to 
get away from you, any leeway. Like, you know, if, if a criminal really wants to get away, they will easily grab your ear and try to rip it out of your ear to make like, you know, to cause you pain. Like you don't have anything like that. If you work in construction and it could get caught on things around you, I don't know. There's like certain jobs where I'd be like, yeah, of course don't have them in. But like the whole looking like professional thing, that's where the offensive stuff comes. Like if you're working in an office or you work in a shop, or you work in retail, or you're working like, you know, a place where you have to see customers and people are like, oh my God, you're gonna make the company look bad. Like, no. So thank you so much for everyone who has sent in their stories. Again, please comment down below your horror story and I can get it into the next video. Of course, like I said, I try to do as many as I possibly can. So if you have done one already, you're more than welcome to re like, post your own story that I may not have got to. Um, but obviously hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification so don't miss any videos and come follow me on social medias my twitter facebook instagram i'm trying to get my instagram to 100,000. but we've got like 10k left to go um so that's exciting um but yeah so be proud to me gay be everything you want to be and then be sure to tell you that you can't be your wise out because you're flawless